question that the Islamic concept of predestination about Takbir. Yes, there is an Islamic concept of predestination of Takbir. But many people, they get confused with what does Islam mean by Qadr, by destiny. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the knowledge of the future. Every one of us agree. But you should realize what is the concept of Qadr, of Takbir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a free will and He does not interfere with the free will. But because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Il Magad, He knows in advance. The Quran says that moment a child is born, the fatir, the destiny is bound on his neck. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala writes down the destiny. Now many people think that because Allah has written the destiny, whatever happens is because of Allah. For example, if I commit murder, Who's to blame? Allah is to blame because Allah is in the destiny. That's a misconception. Let me clarify this misconception by giving an example. That suppose in a class, the teacher, he is teaching the class of students, and by the end of the year before the examination, the teacher says that this particular student, he will come out first in the class. This student, he will get a second class. That student, he will fail. And after the examination, when the results are out, the first student does come out first, the second student gets a second class, the third student he fails. I want to ask a question that can the student who failed blame the teacher that because the teacher predicted I have failed, who is to blame, the teacher or the student? But naturally the student is supposed to blame. Because the teacher was experienced, the teacher knew that this particular student sees a lot of movies, doesn't pay attention to class, that student will fail. Just because the teacher predicted that doesn't mean the teacher has to blame. The blame is on the student itself. Similarly here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has ilm -akab. He has the knowledge of the future. It is not because Allah has written down that the thing takes place. It is in fact the other way around. Because the thing is supposed to take place, Allah has written down. For example, if a human being comes at a crossroad and there are five roads, road 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you choose road 3 and the same thing is mentioned in the takbir that you will be choosing road 3. It is not because Allah has mentioned the takbir that you are choosing road 3, but it is the opposite. Because you were supposed to choose road 3, Allah will make gap, He has written in advance. That is the reason the concept of takbir is, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make gap, He has knowledge of the future, because of that He has mentioned the takbir. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, Rafa.